Closed captioning for The Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on The Casey Malone Show. Today, we head to Coitsville and visit Farmer Casey's Ranch. And I prepare plumble dessert with fresh in-season plums. But first, the fine art of stained glass. Well, this is going to be a very bright and colorful segment. We're at Abstract Stained Glass here in Liberty with John Falaboda. He and his wife Marlene are the owners and the artists. And I met John a few years ago at the Butler and I bought a couple of his pieces. They were the, um, you know, the window stained glass pieces, but you really have some yeah. really serious pieces that you have created too. Yes, we did a four by eight window in abstract for a guy, well, a couple in uh, Columbus, Ohio. I says, no way am I going to be able to take it down there and install it, right? Other than a lot more money. So I boxed it all up. He came and got it. Now, you started out working with the FAA. Yes. And when you retired, this was yes why abstract glass or why stained glass rather well uh the whole story is my wife had <laughs> was into every known hobby to man i mean she did everything i didn't know anything so i figured well i'll do stained glass and i actually forbid her from, from attending the class yeah i didn't want her to learn stained glass because i, I figured she's going to show me up <laughs> You have a kiln, so it does it need heated? No, no it doesn't. What Once is it's your all kiln soldered called? together, well, that's for fusing stuff like this. Oh, I love this. Yeah. Now, this is one of your original designs. Yes. So this is a stain. I mean, this is actually fusion. And then this piece too. Could I bring this over? Yeah, that's fused. I mean, I love this. That has a black back. Okay, which this acrylic is patterns on there. And what we do is cut a piece of clear glass on here and we fuse it together. That takes 24 hours to fuse it together to protect the dichroic so it doesn't scratch. And okay. then the next step, we put it in a uh, How do you mold. get like that hologram of colors though? Like how do you get we all- We buy the glass like that. We have a lot of jewelry that's used in Who this Who has the better ideas, you or Marlene, when it comes to, to uh, jewelry? To jewelry, she does the jewelry, yeah. And then where, where, where does your I don't strength? do anything, I just walk around. <laughs> Boss everybody around. <laughs> wow, that is awesome. But now you can see the difference between that plate and that one. Same glass, but this is black. With the black background. And that's I mean, blue. Yeah. Wow, I mean, this has a lot more depth. When you do something like that picture there, that's... there's three layers of glass. I mean, that's... So you can get a different color from the background. Each color changes the one in front of it slightly, so you can vary your color. That one actually has this, uh, with the flowers, yes. has twigs in it between two pieces of glass, so that it looks like a When you uh, do copper repair, they always it. Is it like a glue? N no, it's like an acid. Oh. You could use um, uh, lemon juice, vinegar, or this flux is much better. And since it's liquid, it transfers heat real well. Yeah, and that's all it's to it. Wow. 
So you do pieces like this is going to be a personal one for your granddaughter. Right. But then when do you get your inspiration? When do you think, you know, your new, your next custom piece will be? I let our customers decide that. In fact, Thursday morning I'm going to Canfield and she wants two side lights made oh. on either side of the door. So I'll go there and make all the measurements. And if she doesn't have an idea, I'll tell her to get online and look at look stained at glass things. and pick out what you like and that's what we do. So you do a lot of custom work now, yes. is yeah. that really? Mainly our custom work. We do more kitchen cabinets than anything else. Oh yeah, that's really... Where they take out the wood and we put in a glass for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because uh, you have so many things here. And we're so the many cheapest things. around. <laughs> well, oh wait a minute, we're the only ones the most, around. You're the only one. Why, why does this appeal to you? Like of all the things, because you know, John made it clear that you've taken on a lot of other projects and hobbies and interests. Uh, you can take and cut a piece of glass and have it not come out right or break wrong, yes. but you still have a nice piece of glass for another project. When I was doing my woodwork, if I ruined a nice piece of wood, I was out that nice uh, piece of wood. Yeah. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bernard. I've been giving the people of our valley free advice for over 30 years, and my message has never changed. If you're involved in a car, truck, or motorcycle accident, don't try to handle it yourself. Call a lawyer. A lawyer will be your representative, dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the red tape that you may face. Hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court, and remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases. That's good advice. Need a lawyer? Learn more at ElizabethBernardLaw.com. RS Paint is a locally owned paint store and not a paint department. Inspiration comes easy when choosing exciting Benjamin Moore colors and finish. Over 3,400 vibrant and durable colors are yours at RS Paint. Family owned Mayflower Wilm Insurance Group is your full service independent agency. Our family works with a variety of insurance companies, so you have the best choices for your insurance needs. Let us find the right product at the right price. Personal lines, business, farm, commercial insurance, life insurance. Trust locally owned Mayflower Woolen. You focus on what's important. We'll take care of the details. Mayflower Woolen, close by with three locations to serve you. Woolley Brothers has a great choice of quality cheeses. We use our relationship with Old World Houses to specially select the product and then have it custom cut and packaged by our own local artisans. At Woolley Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Join the Island Purple Cat family. Employment opportunities are available. Given is living. Si hablas predominantemente español, te ayudaremos a aprender inglés. Ven a trabajar para nosotros. Well, towards the end of summer, you see lots of plum in the grocery stores. And I just love plums. Black plums, red plums, I don't care. They're just so sweet. And I've never really made a dessert with them. Well, my friend Martin makes this great dessert called Plumble. And it's all plums. It doesn't matter what the variety, probably about nine to 10, if they're medium size. And then with the crumble on top, oh my gosh, it's so easy and it's so delicious. And you will be shocked at the taste of the baked plums and how there's like a sweet sourness to them. And it is just a delicious, easy dessert for summer. For the plum marinade, you'll need 10 medium sized ripe plums, any variety, pit removed and sliced about a quarter of an inch thick, zest from one lemon, juice from one lemon, one quarter cup of cornstarch, one half cup of brown sugar, one half teaspoon of salt, one half teaspoon of ground cardamom, and one half teaspoon of ground cinnamon. 
For the crumble topping, you'll need three quarters cup of all-purpose flour, one third cup of brown sugar, one half teaspoon of salt, one half teaspoon of cardamom, one half teaspoon of cinnamon, six tablespoons of unsalted chilled butter cut into small pieces, and one quarter cup of chopped pecans. Well, I've already assembled all of the plums. Love the black plums, they call these. I love them, they're so dark and good. But I also love the red plums. So I use a mixture of both. And now we'll just make the marinade. We'll add the brown sugar and the cornstarch. Okay, try to get all that out of there. And the cardamom. Now you could use this plain, but I think it's more of an enhancer to the cinnamon or nutmeg or whatever you're using. Uh, so I use half and half, and then the salt. And now what we're gonna do is finely zest one lemon. And make sure you don't go too deep into the yellow pith, because you want it to be nice and bright. So you can see I didn't get any of that pith because that makes it bitter. So now I'll wipe that out. And then we need the juice of this lemon. So I'll use that same one. Love my little juicing tool. And we will just extract all of the lemon juice. Okay, and this thing has a nice little grid so it catches the seeds. Now what we're gonna do is just mix this together. All right, a little bit messy. And then once everything is blended, we just let this sit and marinate for about 15 minutes. Now we are going to assemble the crumble and this is very, very easy. We're going to use the food processor with the blade attachment and I'm going to add the all-purpose flour, I'm going to add the cinnamon, the cardamom again, kind of repeat ingredients, the salt, and the brown sugar. All right, so all I'm gonna do is pulse this until it's combined. Okay, so it just has like a uh, meal, you know, texture. Thoroughly combined, smells so good. Now take the chilled butter and you're going to just spread that around. So after you add the butter, just keep pulsing it. It'll be all blended together, but keep pulsing it until it forms chunks. So now we have everything ready to assemble. I have already preheated the oven to 350 degrees. And it looks like this is marinated nicely. It's been about 15 minutes, lots of juices, and that is what we want. So for the size of the baking dish, I'm gonna use this eight by eight, but make sure it is high, about two inches high, because you don't want the juices to overflow. You could also use a nine inch deep dish pie pan or you can use an oval pan about 10 by 7 just something like that with the same circumference so here we go we are going to drop look at this all these beautiful plums into the dish and you can see all the juices so this is perfect that is what we want all you're gonna do is take it and form it with your hand and then use different sized pieces and evenly distribute it over the top of the plums. Okay, so we have all of the crumble topping on. And last but not least, I like to use pecans. Pistachios are great, walnuts, whatever you have. And just sprinkle the very top with some chopped nuts as a final little crunch. All right, so now we will put this in the oven for 45 minutes. Put it in the lower third and it's gonna be nice and bubbly and you want the top to be a golden brown. 
And if it isn't browned enough, we'll just stick it under the broiler for a couple minutes. Well, look at this. Is this not beautiful? I pulled it out of the oven exactly 45 minutes. Really didn't need to go under the broiler. And it is delicious. Let it sit for about 10, 15 minutes before you serve it. And it's still nice and warm. I'm serving it on island mode with a little vanilla ice cream. Mm, and it is so good. And it's so easy. You don't even have to peel the plums. How beautiful is this? I've got to thank my buddy Martin for his plumble recipe because you are going to love it. Just go to my website, caseymalungshow.com and look for Martin's plumble recipe. Hurry up and make this. Plums are in season at a great price and you will be making this through the end of summer. Cheers. Mm. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo and I'm the owner of Catullo Prime Meats. My grandfather started the business in 1962. I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before. Boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the plum card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. And when someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, that's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. My basement was dreadful. Cracked concrete, chipped tiles, it was my dumping ground. Carpet, vinyl, wood, don't last. Now I have Pebble Stone, the best basement floor covering, made with natural stone and the strongest man-made binder. Pebble Stone evened out my floor. Easy to clean, resists moisture, and withstands flooding. You will love your basement. Call locally owned Pebble Stone, the best flooring system. It's not just any stone, it's Pebble Stone. Ruli Brothers is way ahead of the competition. Check out Ruli Spice World, where you can buy bulk herbs and spices, plus candies, nuts, and fillings for pennies on the dollar. At Ruli Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Here at Creekside Fitness and Health Center, we are focused on you. From cardio and strength equipment to classes and personal training. Your all-inclusive membership gives you access to a full-size basketball court, pool, hot tub, sauna, and steam room and over 60 classes per week are all included free with your membership. Membership and personal training specials are happening now, so come experience life on the fit side at Creekside, your neighborhood gym. Selling engagement rings never gets old. It's love. It's a huge untaking because they're going to wear that ring probably forever, but if they're not going to wear it forever, they're going to pass it down to somebody. Our rings will hold a lifetime, and we want to make sure it does. We stand by every single thing that we sell. I believe I can find the perfect ring. I really try to get them exactly what she would want. And to just be a little part of that is really, it warms your heart inside. Get real, get Kamara. He is back. That's right, Rude, the dude from the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery is open for business. Oh, so glad. Yes, Casey, first I want to thank everybody, all of our guests that have supported us over the last few weeks. Uh, it's, it's been amazing just to see the response, but yeah, we're back in effect. Patio's open, inside dining's open, we're back to full menu. We'll be supporting all of our farms again, all of our local breweries, back to our happy hours, our weekend specials. So, you know, we're following all the guidelines, the staff's excited, and it's just, we're, we're ready just to get back and keep going. Farm to table, great service, of course, a huge selection of beer and wine, and oh, I am just so glad. I yes. missed you, really. Yes, we are looking <laughs> forward to it. So thank you again to the community, and we're looking forward to seeing everybody. Come on out, Magic Tree Pub and Eatery.
Is it time to update your color style? RNS Paint will assist you with your choice of over 3,400 Benjamin Moore colors. Vibrant, durable, and easy to apply. Be current, be stylish. Shop RNS Paint. Well, I'm sure you've driven down Route yeah, 422 baby. in Coitsville, hey, and you've seen Casey's Farm here, uh, run by Purple Cat. And I've been meaning to stop for many years, and I finally got out here. And it's unbelievable <laughs> what is out here. I mean, this is a menagerie of animals and gardening. And Jimmy, I just can't believe the activity going on out here. Oh, thanks, thanks. How many acres? Uh, 53 acres total. And what was your vision, what, 10 years ago when you started this? Um, it really was my wife's vision, Jill P. Um, she always says the best days of her life were spent at Camp Fitch, which yeah. have nothing to do with me. But um, she really had the vision of making it a camp. Um, I think that that's in our future, having cabins and that kind of thing. But uh, really, you know, our immediate need was more of a day program for our adults, finding ways to pay our adults with disabilities. Um, we both love animals. We have a lot of staff that love animals. Um, but it was just a matter of learning, as you alluded to earlier, learning about them and what creatures we could get and, you know, what creatures our folks would be safe around and taken care of. This is a bantam silky. It looks like it has fur versus feathers. And uh, she was a donation. And um, we haven't figured out. She has been picked on by her peers. So, uh, you know, there really is the pecking order. There's a, there's, that. Oh, that yeah, there's pecking the pecking order. order. And eventually she'll fall in somewhere along the lines. But The donkeys that bear this cross, they say, are descendants of the donkey that carried Jesus. That's right, that's what they say. The that if the donkeys have, especially miniature donkeys, if they have the cross on their back, that they are descendants of the donkey that carried Jesus back in the day, so. Now they also have, what, the uh, store. Hmm. That's right, the store is open now. And a neighbor of mine brought this purple cat jalapeno jelly over and over cream cheese. You said goat cheese. I've never tried I goat did cheese. It with and that's goat more cheese. of our theme here. So and I gotta hit I that up. Love it. This is a must buy purchase. <laughs> and then strawberries, turnips, all of this is grown on the property. I mean my scapes aren't up yet, so I got a couple <laughs> bundles of garlic scapes. And your strawberries are so sweet. Well, thank you. We, um, we're, we're, we're partnering with Birdfish Brewery. We're going to grow lots of strawberries and blueberries for them. As much as we can grow, they want to purchase off of us. And they're going and to make been like already, a sour with they're it They're going to make a Purple Cat uh, beer of some sort. Um, but they also bought a lot of honey off of us, too, for their meads and... And then you have a woodworking shop. Yeah, that was um, a donation from the Kellogg family. Dave Kellogg was his name. Dave passed away, and his passion was woodworking. And so he had all this beautiful equipment, like top-of-the-line equipment. And uh, he had written in his will that he didn't want to give that to the family. He was providing for them in other ways. Uh, but he wanted to find some organization that would use the woodworking. And so we were that... We received that. So we've got two sitting on eggs right now, two of the female peacocks. And what's the hatch time? Um, five weeks. I mean, so she's been on the close three, you know, uh, I don't know, it just depends. I, I don't know when she exactly started. I, I'd say five, six weeks is where we're, we're looking at here, so. And you might have two or three babies out of this. That would be great. All right, Larry is the bee man, and Melissa and Pete are the, uh, queen and king bees. And this, how long is this operation? Have you had the bees out here? We just started this last year and it was a very successful year. Uh, we lost a few hives over the winter, but we're building back and we should be uh, up to full force here in another couple weeks. So all the honey that is sold here in the store yeah. is from these hives? Yeah. Yes. Yes. What is your favorite thing to do out here? I Mo just with the bees. Help with yeah, the bees. The bee. my, my favorite thing is just being here. <laughs> the hoop house has the turnips that you saw earlier. It does. Purple beans. The strawberries are up there. Mm -hmm. And peppers. And this is where we get the pepper for our, that incredible pepper jelly. Yeah, we grow a ton of peppers, yes. And where did you get that recipe? 
Um, it's a, just uh, good friends of ours. Um, our secret recipe, uh, Meg P and uh, Mark Calvaruso, we call Calvi. Yeah. That was their, you know, his well, Italian that recipe that uh, we've kind of pirated or they've shared with us. And so they help us still with it to this day with the production. They're vital to us. Does this lake have a name? Hmm. Um, no, uh, we just our Farmer Casey's Lake. Um, but we, we get a lot of use. We fish just about every day. We boat on it. Um, we try to what keep it What kind of fish are in here? Um, we've been stocking it. Um, obviously, there's a lot of bluegill naturally, but we've been stocking it with bass and crappie. You know, the old model for working with adults with developmental disabilities was everybody has to be in one room, eyes on at all times. But there's dignity of risk. We all take risks in our exactly, lives. Exactly, yeah. You know, Richie Rich is a good example. He was unhappy being in a sheltered workshop where he was locked into a building. They said he was had all kinds of, you know, behavioral issues. None here. You know, because he's outside, he's doing what he wants to do. Yeah, he's Some kids are sometimes more Sometimes we don't know where he is because <laughs> he's down in the barn, you know, working on a bike. But that's, he's not into mischief, he's working on a bike and that's what he wants to do. And, you know, we're all adults, that's what we want in our, our days. We want to have productive days where we're, we're in control of some things. Exactly. So we allow our folks, you know, a lot of that freedom here, which they don't get in a lot of different programs. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.